last year I decided to have a bit of a uh, shack reshuffle and uh, I also want to upgrade the aerials as part of that so that's going on outside that's very much work in progress but I went out and I treated myself to a Flex 6600 software defined radio really really nice bit of kit and uh, I've also just treated myself to an amplifier as well so I've got an Acom 1200S down here I've got a radio rack which I'm building up and one of the things that's been driving me absolutely potty that I want to sort out is the antenna switching arrangements here in the shack so as things currently stand all of the coax cables come down the wall through a bit of conduit behind the camera to an antenna switcher which to be honest it's not the most ergonomic setup it's a bit of a pain to reach and it's only a cheap switch it's it's not particularly good so I want to change that out and especially if I'm running a bit of power from this amp down here um, I'm not particularly happy with it so what I've done is I've run a single piece of coax up that wall over there now from the amplifier and the radio into the loft or or the attic if you're over the pond and all of the coax cables from my antennas all meet at one point on the wall up there in the uh, in the loft so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a remote switcher and uh, there's two parts to that so the first part I have to be a bit careful because it's got wires connected in the back of it is this this is uh, Bandmaster 5 uh, comes from Array Solutions in America I had to ship it in and pay the taxes on it I couldn't find anyone in the UK who had these in stock so had it shipped in from America and you can either with these buttons on the front you can either change the antenna uh, manually or it also plugs into the cat interface for you can connect almost any radio into it it's got uh, on the back here uh, you got um, your a serial port for a cat connection uh, you've got an icom uh, civ uh, it's got a lan so you can i think they do software for it for uh, uh, control from a computer also got a usb port now if you've got a flex radio you can plug the usb port straight into the radio it works like that and all it does is it switches relays as you change um, as you change bands so it sets the uh, relays dependent on which band the radio is on so you can set it to switch your transmit antennas you can also you can have multiple switches at the same time for a given antenna so you could also uh, do um, receive antenna switching as well for example and what i've also got is this this has come from uh, golf mic 6 delta x-ray up in scotland um, it's a bit of a hobby business it's something he does on the side so you, you have to be a little bit patient he makes these to order and actually the service was really really quick um, at the time of filming 125 pounds here from Scotland to uh, to here in Swindon uh, only took him a couple of days to make and uh, they are made to order and uh, it's got a LAN connection on there which standard um, 8 pin uh, LAN cable and then I just run the wire down to my uh, unit here down to the bandmaster and all it does is it switches relays depending on which wire you put 12 volts in so that was the wire you saw coming out the back of the bandmaster that goes up into the attic and I'm going to mount this on the wall in the attic and that will switch all my antennas for me okay so i've already removed the uh, four screws so you don't have to sit there and watch me unscrewing the box one two three four and then uh, you have to be a little bit careful though you pull this apart because there's uh, wires on the inside so you can see uh, if you pull it too hard you're going to rip these wires out so first impressions looks fairly well made you've got your uh, relays in there uh, printed circuit board uh, you've got these two holes here. Uh, it doesn't come with those. I've actually drilled those because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on the wall in my attic. It's going to be a permanent install. Now, obviously not weatherproof. It does talk on the website about making it weatherproof. Um, to me, that doesn't matter because it's going to be indoors. It's not going outside. So uh, that's what you get on the inside. And then uh, obviously the relays switch in and out depending which 
one of these wires you put 12 volts down. Right, I'm in the attic and uh, I'll make my apologies for possibly not the best audio quality on this video. I'm very much uh, running and gunning it using the mic inside the camera. So um, I've already drilled, measured out and drilled two holes in here and put wall plugs in. So uh, taking the four screws out of my uh, switch box, I'm going to carefully open it up. And with any luck, if my measurements work out, my uh, screws with the two holes I've drilled should line up. So I'm just going to get a few turns on that one. And on the second screw. So a bit dark in here, so I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go, that's in. Perfect. So screw that in. Right, so now I've screwed that in, I'm going to uh, put the front panel back on and the uh, four screws that hold it together. Right, so I've got the uh, switch bolted onto the wall, I've got the front panel screwed on. I have already uh, had a multimeter up here and on my uh, LAN cable that I made up going down to the controller downstairs, I've. Uh, tested all the pins made sure there's voltage where i'd expect it and uh, we're not shorting anything out so i can plug my control cable into there and i heard it click as i connected it to the uh, controller downstairs that's a good sign and then i can plug my antennas in so this one down here is the uh, beam so that's going to go into antenna port two that's for the moxon beam for 20 meters I've got another wire down here which I still need to reroute and terminate for the 10 meter antenna so I'll leave that for now come back to that uh, this antenna here is for the NFED halfway for 40 so if I screw that into there and then this cable comes from the back of the amplifier downstairs so I'm going to plug that into the uh, C the control port or common port now I just need to do a bit of configuration on the uh, bandmaster 5 box downstairs so it knows which antenna to set up for which band and then uh, we're good to go it'll automatically switch as I change frequency Right, back downstairs in the shack, all sorted out upstairs, all connected up. I've put the uh, unit in my radio rack here, connected it all up. The setup for that is all fairly straightforward. You have to uh, set up your CAT settings, your board rate, etc, etc for the uh, for the radio. And uh, then it's all on the front panel. You select which antenna you want with which band. And what you should be able to see now is uh, I've got my flex software up on this screen here so as I change frequencies you should see the uh, radio will follow and if I change on to a different band so if I go on to uh, 20 meters I don't know if you heard that click there but uh, it just clicked the relay and changed over onto the Moxon beam which is what I've set it up for on 20 meters and then uh, Again, if I uh, change frequency, uh, it might take a couple of seconds to catch up, but uh, the unit, the controller should follow me. And uh, if I go on to uh, go back onto 40 meters, it should switch back onto antenna one, which it has. So there you go, fully automated antenna switching. Brilliant.